So our first competitor in, it's Anthony Clark working protest, border collie four years of age. So if you saw me walking around earlier, you can see I got lost. Obviously these guys do it every weekend, which I used to, but I don't unfortunately, not anymore. An interesting one from a commentary view, the tunnel on the far side there in the right hand corner looking from where the commentary point is. That's done three times. So a bit of push and pull, we're over to the weaves. Nice weave entry, skipping across nicely to that wall. We're coming back down now, pulling over the KC hurdle, back in the tunnel. Okay, pushes out again to the left, collects the dog to come round the Yukonuba hurdle, and we're across to number nine. Ten coming up now, down towards the wall. We're in the tunnel again for the third time. Now we're coming across again towards the middle of the arena. Coming round to 14. In the tunnel, 15, it's flowing nicely at the moment for Anthony and protest. They're coming around with two to go, I think it is, it might even be three. Finishing line coming up with a turn to the left. Yes, first dog in, 41.61. And obviously, they take the lead. Next to go, we've got Helen Anderson working Neo, Border Collie, five years of age. So we also have Rob, our uh, manual timer as well, just to be on the safe side. So we've got an element there in case we need it. If your electronics should crack up, which I'm sure it won't. Cracking set of equipment yet again, used at uh, the KC show this weekend here at Crofts. And we're into the tunnel for the second time. Pushes the dog out, picks the dog up nicely. Coming around for the Ukanuba, wrap around to the left. Oh, we've gone over the finishing line. We've picked up an elimination there. Unfortunately, they'll continue working the course. As I said, they uh, qualified at the KC final last year, international. So you watch, we'll go perfectly clear now. The arena's nice and quiet. Well. We've got anyone in from Scotland today. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Okay, bear with us a second. We're just going to sort the timing out. Round of applause. They're unlucky for Helen and Neo. So we'll just realign the timing up. Dog just clipped as it went round. So, Penny Virginity on today. The, uh, what have we got? We've got Flyball as well this afternoon. YKC this evening as well, just after five. So we're happy with the time. Next in, Matthew Goodliffe working uh, Quincy, Border Collie, eight years of age, agility champion. Quincy's an awesome dog, one of the life's happy chappies. He's represented great bit of the European Championships, FCI World Champs, on numerous occasions over the last five years. So renowned handler, like most of the handlers are, if not all of them, in the rate. So it pushes out again around the KC, into the far side of the tunnel. Coming back through again, collects the dog again. And we've got an elimination, I was wondering there. There you go, just picked the wrong one there, number 14 from where I'm looking, obviously not that number on the course. Almost a jump into the rigid tunnel. So it picks the dog up nicely, we'll work our way towards that tunnel now. Collect the dog. Coming around towards 18 and 19. And over the finishing line. Unlucky style for Matthew and Quincy. We'll see you later on, obviously. Next to go, we should have Christine Moser working Mako, Border Collie. They come all the way from the USA, Mandeville, Louisiana. Let's give them a round of applause all the way from the US of A. Border Collie, five years of age. Let's see how Mako can do with Christy. Nicely handled. Nice entry into the weaves, plenty of speed up there. Coming across round the case here, across the tunnel. Nice blind turn, picking the dog up as it turns to the right. Pushes the dog out with the left arm. Round to the Yukonu, we lost a little bit of time there from eight to nine. We're into the tunnel. We're coming across to the wall. Again, into that tunnel. Picks the dog up again. It's a push and a pull. We're around, we're coming around to the right hand side now. Picks the dog up now for the long jump. Beautifully handled at the moment. Nice tight turns coming around for 18. We've got two to go. We're over 19. Come on, Christy. Come on, Mako. Yes, 42.43. Super run there. Worth a trip all the way from the States for that one. Well, if I pronounce anyone's surnames wrong, I do apologize. Obviously, we've got some uh, foreign handers in as well. 
And this is Gucci. I'm going to say Schiff with Jamie, board of college, six years of age. This is their third time competing at Crufts, but it's still special to be here. It's always special to be at Crufts. Regardless of whether you're here shopping or you're here commentating or competing or whatever you're doing, always a special part of the year. So, a nice flowing start, good recall start, pushing the dog nicely over obstacle number two. Pushed out there beautifully, handled way back there from that obstacle, the Casey Hurdle. Always good to see how the foreign handlers work. We've all got our own ways of doing things. Beautifully handled there. Dog never looked at the uh, last obstacle. We're over the wall. We're in the tunnel. This looks quick. Through the gap now. Working our way up towards that tunnel. Pick the dog up on the other side of the long jump. Beautifully done. Switches round to the Ukanuba. We're pushing round to 18. It's a bit of a wide turn. We've lost a little bit of time. We're going left now. Through the gap. Come on. Yeah. Just slightly took off a little bit too early there. Clipped the jump and 41.53. Great run. Next in, we've got Georgina Baker working Freak, Border Collie, three years of age. Georgina's a full-time dog agility trainer. Freak belongs to and is normally handled by Georgina's mum, Sue. And Georgina borrowed Freak to run her in the British Open and qualified to be here today. And it's their first time competing at Crufts. They've rolled a pole, unfortunately, obstacle one. So, as you know, five faults, and this is new to agility. And they've just skipped out of the weaves as well. So, we're back in the weaves. We'll just stir down a little bit. Maybe no, we're ahead. We're doing nicely now. We pick the dog up. So, five faults at the moment. Pulls the dog around now towards the tunnel. Lost a little bit of time, but we're doing all right. Pushes out, picks the dog up, through the gap. You can Uber to you can Uber. Oh, just lined up slightly wrong there for number nine. Just landed there, almost facing the Casey hurdle. So we've got an elimination, unfortunately, as well. But it's the first time here to experience. Obviously, it's a different surface as well. It's not like you've been doing competing outdoors and so on. And at the moment, I think nowadays this service is the best it's ever been. Over the finishing line, give her a round of applause. Well done, Georgina and Freak. Unlucky run. But again, we'll see you later on this afternoon. So, next in is Christina Garcia Dora, working, uh, I'm going to say Scoffos, Belgian Shepherd Malinois, five years of age, two time sub champion of the International Dog Festival in 615 and 16, classified for the two EOs in 2016, super champion Catalonia in 2016, champion of the semi final British Open in 2016. So, one to watch. Ooh, what a beautiful tight turn. Pushes the dog across nicely. Again, left arm out, picks the dog up. A little bit of a blind turn, but we're all right. This is smooth. We're coming around to that wall. Again, pushing out now into the tunnel. Picks the dog up over the Casey hurdle. Beautifully lined up, round through the gap there. We're into the tunnel again, and we're going to pick the dog up, are we, for the long jump? We are. We're coming around with three to go. With two to go. Come on, let's have a nice turn over the finishing line. Beautifully done. 40.94. I believe that takes the lead. 40.94. So, next in, Lucy Hinchley working Pixie, Border Collie, six years of age. Pixie's a dream to run. Whatever happens when I step out onto the start line, she makes me feel very proud and lucky to be able to run her, and we'll have a whole heap of fun. That's what it's all about. Anything else is a bonus, as they say. So, Lucy and Pixie. Recall start. Up to the Casey hurdle, left shoulder pointing. Cross to the weaves. Little bit of a turn there as we went towards the weaves, but we're all right. Pushes around into the tunnel. Far side this time. Over the Casey hurdle, pushing around. You can Uber to you can Uber. Dogs focused on the tunnel. No looking there at the last obstacle. We're over the wall. We're back in that tunnel again. Coming across now towards the middle of the arena. Turning it around to the right hand side. Oh! Just lost it there. Just went on and forward to the to the last obstacle. So, three to go. Nice flowing run otherwise. That was a shame. They'll be back later on again. Unlucky there for Lucy with Pixie. <laughs> Next to go, Kerry Abbott working Grace, working sheepdog, five years of age. Grace is a joy to own, so loving, comical and clever. A dog in a million. She always makes a smile on her face. 
and a tongue. Well, she has a tongue out. She never fails to make us smile and laugh a lot either. So, Kerry and Grace. Straight across to those weaves, no problem whatsoever. Nicely executed uh, with the dog. Quick look at the uh, Casey Hurdle from the other side, but we were okay. We're on the right side. We're pushing out again. But unfortunately, we haven't pushed out enough. Just going to reline it up. So they pick up an elimination there. They'll continue working around. Kerry and Grace. Turn it across towards a rigid tunnel. Down to the wall. We'll skip the wall out. I like that tunnel. Over to Casey. Coming into the middle. Through the rigid tunnel again, collects the dog nicely. You can Uber for you can Uber. And over the finishing line. Give him a round of applause. I'm lucky there for Craig, Kerry and Grace. Well, this guy's unbelievable. I remember seeing him on Blue Peter when I was a teenager. And I wasn't into dog agility in those days, but I still remember him. I don't know what it was. And next next we've got Greg Derrick working rehab. It's his 27th consecutive year being here. 27 consecutive years. That's worth a round of applause, to be fair. Um, it's rehab's third year at Crofts. She's won the British Open in 2015, as well as a member of the 2015 FCI gold medal team. So, Greg and Rehab away. We can set the wings, pushes the dog down. Greg's one of these ones, he goes around pretty well as quick as a dog a lot of the time. Plenty of motivation from the handler. Use his left leg then to push the dog out. Obviously the dog's not making contact, so that's no problem. Cross to the wall, into the tunnel. As you can see Greg motivated around that arena with his dog, picking up Rehab. And coming around now for 14. Mm, slightly wide, maybe on the turn for 14, but not a lot in it. He's coming around for the long jump. Over the Ukanuba, working around with three to go to the other Ukanuba hurdle. Turning left, he's got one to go. Come on, Greg, come on, Rehab. 42.17, well done, Greg. And Rehab puts him into third place. So, height's going down to medium, and then that'll be followed by the small dogs. So you don't get plenty of agility on today. What have we got else this morning? We've got the Crofts team final. And we've got the uh, Bull Terrier display team later on. Dog activity display. Agility back on at 22 with the Kennel Club Open final. And 225, the Kennel Club Open final as well. So we've got the British Open and the Novice Cup final. And 315, the one to lose your voice on, Flyball. Quarter finals of Flyball later on. Obviously lots of other things going on in the arena, which we'll tell you about throughout the day. And once again, a big thank you to uh, our main sponsors, You Can Uber. We'll go through the other ones later on throughout the day. As you can see, all the uh, signage around tells you who are, the, who are the sponsors. But obviously, the main sponsors, You Can Uber. Big thank you to them for continuing supporting Crufts in the way they do. It's much appreciated by everyone, regardless of whether you're in agility, fly ball, breed, and so on. And don't forget, obviously, Facebook. You can follow on Facebook, and it's live as well on YouTube. So if you keep in touch in the week, if you're here today and you want to catch up what's going on tomorrow and so on, uh, there's a small fee to watch on YouTube and you can watch it live throughout the day and throughout the evening as well. Obviously TV coverage every night on, is it Channel 4 and 4 Plus as well? So plenty of information out there to keep you up to date with what is going on regardless of whatever your interests are. So we're just finally putting the strap on the tunnel there, which the lady's nearly done behind Alan. We're nearly ready. I'll just wait till she's out the way, which she is now. OK, our first dog in the mediums. It's Chantal Karata with Spice, a Sheltie. Spice, the first agility dog and the first time at Crufts, although I've been here before with one of, one of my other dogs. She's a sweet, gentle dog, but loves her agility, and I'm sure she will love the Crufts crowd. So yeah, quite a few dogs that get a little bit put off sometimes. It's a bit overwhelming, as you can imagine, when the arena's full with 10,000 people. But it sounds like this is one that doesn't have a problem with that whatsoever. So we're over the wall. We're just directing the dog around now, the KC hurdle. 
back into the tunnel. Then we're going to push out. You can see left arm out directing the dog. Round to the Ukanuba. And across to the rigid tunnel. We had a little bit of a left turn there, a little bit of direction all towards that last stop to go, but we're all right. We're still on the right lines. And we're coming this side now, the Casey Hurdle. Coming around now for number 14. They've got to the far side. That flows nicely for them. Into 15, the tunnel again. There's a few tunnels on this one. Long jump. Swap inside now, coming around with three to go. It's the first dog in the mediums. Can we have that elusive clear through the gap? Come on, over the line. Super run, 51.88 for Chantal and Spice. What a great start that is. So here he is, he's back again. Steve's been here many, many years. Steve Richardson with Libby, crossbreed, ten and a half years of age, and is an agility champion. Libby's been such an amazing dog to own and train and doesn't own me one single thing. She is a little superstar. I remember when Libby first started with Steve. In fact, I remember Steve when he was a teenager. So Steve, another one of these ones, handlers that uh, gives the dog that little bit of extra bump. And unfortunately, I think Steve possibly pushed it a little bit too far towards the hurdle. So we've got an elimination, which is a shame. So he'll continue working it, as he always does. Lib's doing her own thing. She's enjoyed it as well. At the end of the day, ten and a half years of age, they're here at Crofts again. Coming up towards the middle there, number 14. Now 15. She's a bit chilled, a bit relaxed. Steve probably isn't, but what the heck. Alan's give them directions just to make sure. And across the finishing line, unlucky there for Steve and Libby. Next to go, Stephen Swanky working Fern Crossbreed. This is Steve and Fern's second unit cross. They've also been competing in the British Open. Uh, last year they were runner-up in the Novice Cup final. They went to Denmark last year and did very well coming third in the Fiona Cup final. Fern's a very bright young dog who is quick to learn both good and bad habits. That sounds a bit like me, that does. So, Stephen and Fern, they're away. As you can see, shoulder turned slightly to the right and he's picked the dog up by turning it to the left to direct it over the hurdle. Over the wall, and the right side of the jump, not like Steve, and we've got it. Far side of the tunnel. Again, left arms out, picks the dog up now. Round to the Ukanu. We've gone to the right hand side, makes it a little bit more of an awkward one. Oh! I was just about to say it makes the line different for the uh, last obstacle, and unfortunately, we, uh, as you can see, the dog was slightly in that line from going the other way. Different dogs, different handlers. It works for some and not for others. Now continue working around, coming over the long jump, round over the Ukanubas, and across the finishing line. Unlucky round of applause there for Stephen and Fern. Next in, we've got Suzanne Bonk working Flynn, a miniature American Shepherd, five years of age. Crazy little dog, she says, with a big heart and an ugly voice. I can't believe that. He's been born in sleep. He has been born in sleep, and is our great cuddle bear. Oh, I like the sound of that as well. He loves jumping and running, and so agility is the right for him. Everything he is great for a zero faults run. Well, we've got a five at the moment, unfortunately. So a lucky start there for Suzanne and Finn. Yeah, she's right. As you can see, Finn's one of these vocal ones. Likes to have a bit of a bark as we go around. Well, what can you say about that? That was a bit of a hop, skip and a jump, I think, but we're, uh, we're going around all right. We've got the five faults still, obviously, from obstacle one. We're in the tunnel. We're coming around over the KC hurdle, through the gap round of 14. And they're turning to the right. I think we've only had that one handler go to the left, but we're all right at the moment. Five faults is OK for later on in the final, that's later on this afternoon. The elimination's a different story. So, a round to the left, we want to go, and a round of applause there for Suzanne and Finn. Well done. <laughs> Next in the uh, mediums, we have Leo Benz working Neil. Shep and Sheepdog, six and a half. That's our first cross selection, and we are very proud that we can run here. Neil's six and a half years old, and we are running agility. For, they've been competing for about four years. So, Leo and Neil. Leo is 
see that pushes out to the left. He knows his dog. All dogs are different. Great slowdown there between one and two in the weeds. Plenty of vocal there as well from Neil. Ooh, well handled. Oh, dog just came over to her, and you could see from a commentary point of view, it just picked up that jump. And uh, Leah going one way, and unfortunately, Neil going the other way. I bet if you tried to do that again around that Yukon Uber, you probably couldn't. I think we'll call this take your own line. We're over the hurdle, over the wall, in the tunnel. First time at Cuffs as well, it's a big experience, as you can imagine, it's totally different to working, let's say, in a riding stables or whatever. All right, they haven't finished yet, they've got a bit more to do, they want their money's worth. Coming round to Yukon Uber, to Yukon Uber. Now a big round of applause for Leo and Neil, unlucky there. Great little dog, plenty of speed there as well. So, next to go in the mediums, Abigail Doxford, working Wigfield, a working Cocker Spaniel, six years of age. Wigfield is a rehome Spaniel and can be a bit of a handful to train, so I'm delighted she's qualified for Crofts. She's a complete opportunist and lives life to the full every day. She loves the party, so will probably enjoy the fabulous atmosphere at Crofts. It'll probably be a bit more louder later on, I've got to be honest. I'm not saying that you guys are quiet, but it's nice sometimes to start the day off with a bit of a quieter morning. So, nice weaves. Plenty of verbal there from Abigail, and I think we've gone down the wrong end of the tunnel, unfortunately, which is a shame. So an elimination there for them. They like that last top score. It's, it's uh, obviously from a judging point of view, the judge sets up a course, it's testing with the dog and the handler. And uh, if you're new to agility, it's just the angles, they sometimes land from a jump, which just points them in the direction of an obstacle, which they're not supposed to go to. And if they go to it, that's an elimination. Working beautifully now across to that far side there, coming around for the long jump. Nicely handled round from Yukon Uber to Yukon Uber. And across the finishing line, and a big round of applause please for Abigail and Wigfield. Okay, I'll do my best with this one. We'll go for Debbie Henlopes of Budesteg, I think. I will call it Debbie, Debbie. So Debbie's in next, working uh, from the Netherlands as well. Let's have a round of applause for the Netherlands, please. It's a long way to come. Working perfect match, Shetland Sheepdog, eight years of age. The first time at Cross, so happy to be here with match. They're going to make the best of it. The most important thing is to have fun. I like it when people put that on their paperwork. We're all here to have some fun. And this is another vocal dog, as you can see. Plenty of vocals there from Match. So we push out nicely there. So all the way from the Netherlands. Ooh, that was a close one. I thought we were going to have a fall over job then, but we're all right. And the far side over the wall. Pushes into the tunnel. Round to the left hand side of the KC jump now from where I'm commentating from. Pulls the dog round to the right. Oh, we're having a look. We're having a look, but we got pulled away. That was a good command, that was. I could see from here, you obviously could good as well if you're by me. We've got three to go. We're coming around to the right hand side. We want that last jump this time. Yes, 40, 50.01 for Debbie and Match. What a start for them. Next dog in the mediums, Hayley Telling, working Teal, Shetland Sheepdog, three years of age. Teal was bred in Belgium. Hometown of Arundel, he's a fantastic dog to live with and a pleasure to train and compete with. So, Hayley and Teal. A quick look at that tunnel, you could just see the head point to the right, they'll look to the right, but we're okay. And pull the dog around. Casey Hurdle to the far end of the tunnel. Haley a bit of legwork to no no, she's picking the dog up steadily rather than rushing to the obstacle. Now the Yukon Uber, she's going around to the right. She's got to watch now that we don't get that. No, dog's looking at the handler nicely there. Well done, Teal. Over the wall. Directs the dog with her right arm there, directing it towards that tunnel. Save her a little bit of time and a bit of legwork. We're coming around for 14. I don't like saying too much, as they say commentators curse, but we're in the tunnel at the moment. Nice turn as well, nicely handled, that was smooth and coming around with three to go. Come on Hayley, come on Teal, one to go. Come on Teal! Yes, 46.32. 46.32, I think that's put him in the front. 
first clear as well. Next to go, last of the mediums, Curtis Vinton from Swanley in Kent, working Marley, working Cocker Spaniels, seven this month. Marley's the first agility dog, he's a rescue, but I have him from when he was about three months old. I won't go too much in this because he has put me quite a lot to read out, but I'd rather... Mm, got some music, come on then, just to introduce me. I'd like to thank Dartford Agility Club for all help and support received over the past five years. That's what you need. I mean, if you're interested in agility, if you're sitting here today thinking, how do I get involved with this? I've got a dog, what do I do? Have a look online, your nearest uh, Kennel Club registered club. And I'm not saying all of them do agility, because obviously they all do the different things as well, but uh, get in touch with them. Go around some shows, chat to people, they'll point in the right direction. When I self-taught myself, that's in 1989, I hadn't got a clue what I was doing, but uh, that wasn't the Kennel Club Registered Club, it was just a group of friends that got together. Oh, I was so unlucky there, we're for Curtis. It was flowing very nicely. Happy dog, tail wagging, tongs out. Thoroughly enjoying what we're doing. So, round the, uh, the final coming up, give him a round of applause there for Curtis and Marley, unlucky with that elimination. And we're now going to go up, we're going to go down, sorry, I'll tell a lie, we're going down to Smalls. That's what I've got here, Eric, yes, we're going down to Smalls. So I say various activities on throughout the day, what else have we got I can tell you about? We've got freestyle, heel to music at quarter past twelve, that's always worth watching, that is. And we have uh, the one and only Dave Ray commentating on that. And Dave knows his stuff. Obviously, as far as being involved with Mary, super thing to watch. And watch the final as well. YKC's on this evening, Yukonuba World Challenge opening ceremony. That's a new one to me, that one is. I was being filled in about that this morning. So we have people who have won, and the dogs, obviously, from around the world, being flown in here to Birmingham, to the NEC, and the Genting Arena. And that's going to be on tonight. I think it goes on to parties throughout the day. Later on this evening, we'll have the dogs in the main arena. They'll get judged, and then I think the main final is tomorrow night.